Hello, this is Electronic Technology, and today I'm going to do a review on a MacBook Pro um, running Windows 7. It ain't running the Leopard it used to, but now I changed it to the Windows 7 CD. I burned it using a DVD hard drive really easily. Um, this is just a beta of Microsoft's website, and did a review on it. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and let y'all get a look at it. It's a great screen. It is, it is your boot thing. This is the boot logo, but instead it's showing a gray. Give it a second, I'll turn to the black boot screen for Windows 7. One problem um, I can't get my camera to work and the audio. It says the driver has been installed, but the audio don't work at the beginning of the install. But I mean, it does work at when booting into it. But when at the home screen, the audio does not work. But the keyboard, the mouse, but your but your high keys does not work. But everything else does. The USB drive works, and the power power is really good, and it runs really really quick. Now we're booting to Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate. I was in the rest of shutting down, so sorry. There we go. And also, my wireless internet works. Uh, I don't have to install boot camp or go through, go through it or anything like that. Runs really good. And display worked. Everything. See, I'm on my login screen. Give me one second, I'll, I'll log in for y'all. Nope, I'm, I'm logged in. Well, alright, here's my home screen. I got my gadgets, everything, my, I have a 3D toolbar, looks pretty cool. Um, my recycling bin, if I go over to start menu, my home menu, my start menu, ETC, Windows Media Center. For a second, I just clicked on it. Up there's Windows Media Center. You realize the audio does not work. You know what it says it does. It's lying. Seven Smiths, what y'all. Um, has my documents, games, ETC, DVD maker, your gadgets. Um, let's click at get on the internet. There's Emerson. So far, everything that works perfect on here. Um, it looks very, very easily to install. All that do is insert the CD drive and add. Hold down the C key and it boots straight into Windows 7 installation. Um, I format my hard drive and then if that, I start the installation. But there's one problem though. When you get done with the installation and it shuts down and restarts, hold down your eject key, get the CD out of there, and because it'll keep on booting into the CD for new installation. So you when you once you once you get that installed, eject the CD out and put the CD back in its case. And then the setup process will do it by itself with the computer. When I started the installation, it automatically found my wireless internet everything and everything's working except for my just like I told you earlier my my camera don't work 
audio, my hotkeys on the top don't work. So, but this is a really good review. If you have any more questions or concerns, please comment my vi comment my video or go to my forum website and post your comments on there. If you have any questions, write topic. My URL will be in the description. Then again, thanks for watching my video.